we doing are we stepping out life's been too hard we gonna make it count i ain't mad at the world i'm just Yo, what's up, YouTube? Back at you with another video on today. This is Clutch Sports Entertainment. Make sure you guys hit that subscription button, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell so that you'll be notified whenever we put up an upload. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the installment. All right, guys, we're going to talk about head coach D'Amico Ryans of the Houston, Texas. What a wonderful hire for the Houston, Texas last season. D'Amico Ryans in his first year turning the team around and taking the team to the, uh, the second round of the playoffs. That is a beautiful thing, and I think what he's establishing and what he's building in Houston is bigger than what people are probably going to expect or what people are thinking uh, that he's going to be able to bring to the table. But, man, I love the energy that D'Amico feeds the team. The team really thrives off his leadership. And sometimes, you know, you know. well, I'm going to say sometimes, you know, people say that basically you are how your leader is. And D'Amico Ryan, you could tell from day one, that this guy is a leader of men. Um, I mean, being able to get hired to the team that you played for and actually going out and coaching those guys and guys listening to you and buying in, that's what you want from, from day one. And those guys are buying in, especially when you win. Everything is beautiful, man. When you're winning football games in the National Football League, everything is beautiful. Everything looks good. But when you're losing – there's going to be fingers pointing at everybody, uh, at the GM, at the head coach, at the quarterback, at the players on the roster. It's going to be a lot of finger pointing. But when you're winning and you have success, then definitely, man, you have to give the props to where they're due. And I, sh I definitely want to give props to D'Amico Ryans for just taking this team and uh, turning this team around in one season, man. That doesn't happen that often that a new, fresh head coach – comes in and takes the team to the next level and even take these guys to the playoffs, win their first game with their rookie quarterback. So that's a lot of it's just a lot of things that happen in one season with these Houston Texans, man. But definitely, man, I see what the Texans are building. They're building a juggernaut, and I love everything that they're doing. And then they're also, I'm thinking that they might end up drafting a wide receiver still because I think um, Stephon Diggs still wants to play with his brother in Dallas. So maybe they're, they're going to let him do that. You know what I'm saying? Um, because they pretty much reworked his deal and wiped out the remainder years of his contract. So he's only going to be playing for one season. But, you know, maybe he could come back too as well. We don't know. But hopefully, man, Stephon Diggs uh, definitely and him and C.J. Uh, Stroud have that chemistry chemistry. Uh, right from the get-go and right from the start because these guys are already working out right now. And that is a beautiful thing, especially if you're a Houston, Texas fan, to see the, see them working out right now and getting the chemistry together right now. Because definitely, man, every year can be a different type of year for you. So you don't know. So hopefully, man, the Texans will be able to live up to expectations and this team will be able to go to New York Heights and be one of the best uh, football teams in the National Football League. Now, definitely, I think that D'Amico Ryans, by him turning the team over and taking their record from 10, uh, taking their record to 10 and 7, and they was, I think, 3 and 13 and 1 uh, the year before. Man, what a, what a transition, man. The trajectory of where the team is going now is like on a different stratosphere. But um, I love his turnaround and how he's improving the team, and the team is uh, confident in him. And being a leader of men and being able to lead this team, because when you're a head coach in the National Football League, that's what you're doing from week to week, leading men. And uh, he's doing a great job of it, man. Definitely uh, drafting a franchise quarterback like C.J. Stroud. Nobody knew what C.J. Stroud was going to be. We knew that he was a good football player at Ohio State, but you didn't know uh, what type of player he was going to be in the National Football League. And he surprised everybody by coming out and playing with poise and confidence and just you know, just gaining that, just gaining the teams, uh, uh, gaining the teams. Uh, uh, everybody wanting to flock around him and understand that this young fella can play some football. And uh, you gotta love that man about uh, what C.J. Stroud is doing. So I definitely love that Stroud is going to be going to that next level next season. They're already talking about this kid being a top ten quarterback next year, and I definitely believe that he can do that. Uh, the team is feeding um, off D'Amico's leadership. And you can see it is oozing, and everybody is just loving what's going on right now. 
I mean, Texas, I mean, come on, man. Texas Swarm, you got to stand up. You got to stand up for what Coach D'Amico Ryans is doing with this team and what the GM, Nick, is doing with the team as well. As well. Being able to get these type of players, um, Daniil Hunter in the offseason, Stephon Diggs, and Joe Mixon. And you're talking about grabbing a 1,000-yard rusher in, in Joe Mixon, a 1,000-yard receiver, and um, – uh, Stephon Diggs, and then grabbing one of the best pass rushers in the National Football League in Daniil Hunter. This is box office, man. And this is the type of stuff that you want to see from the uh, Houston, Texas, man. So definitely, man, I believe that D'Amico Ryans could be the next Mike Tomlin of Houston. I definitely think that he, if he just takes it one game at a time, continues to pour into these men. And what I mean by that is definitely Mike, Mike Tomlin has had consistent success at Pittsburgh and I'm wishing the same for uh D'Amico Ryans that he'll have that same type of sex success that uh Mike Tomlin is having that he'll have it as well so we'll see man hopefully man this team sky's the limit and hopefully this team will be in the Super Bowl next year uh getting past the Kansas City team and getting past Miami and also the Baltimore Ravens or whoever else all right you guys leave it in the comment section I'm out Now we stepping out, life's been too hard, we gon' make it count I ain't mad at the world, I'm just living life And if I came up out the bag, you know I pay the price The night's too young, let's have some fun, let's paint the town Let's shut it down, it's our time now And I ain't going in till the sun come up And I ain't going in until we blew up the bucks Cause it's us, throw it up, live it up 